Hi everyone, it's Julia. I wanted to show you today one of my new designs that I've been working on. It's one of my sweatshirt jackets. And boy, I tell you a little bit about it. I, I cut the bottom of the sleeve off. So the sleeves are three quarter length. And the bottom of the sleeve turns into the pocket. Um, it does have the, the neckband cut off also. And I use the neckband to make the little rosette pin. And I have a, another video that I can link on how to make the pin. Um, but it's just on a pin back and it can be put on the lapel or it can be used as a closure. There are no buttons on this particular jacket. It's such a casual thing. Um, you can also dress it up with a long skirt. I find it's been very versatile and, and I've had really good luck selling it both in my Etsy shop and also in my flea market shop. And some I've had them at, a, at one craft show too, and it and they weren't they went really well. So it's just because I think it's just a little bit of a different look. So I am going to show you just the basics on how to do this. It's a very simple sewing technique, and I think that if you have a have a sweatshirt at home that's just kind of plain and you just want to to try it, it's it's certainly doable. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, let's go to the cutting board first. Okay, some of the things you're going to need for this sweatshirt is a sharp scissor. I think there's more cutting than anything else, more cutting than sewing anyway on this shirt. Um, I, I do have like a pattern that I, that I traced out that works well for the pocket and I will um, put, it, put it on my a free downloadable on my blog so that if you don't want to do your own pattern you don't have to and I'll link that down below. You need your sweatshirt. This is a com comfort color sweatshirt and I do get them online. I will link that also. These are really nice sweatshirts. They're pigment dyed. Tons of different colors. This one happens to be their denim which has been a real popular color. So the very first thing that I do is cut off the bottom band and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this a little bit better. On the bottom band on this comfort colored sweatshirt there's one side that has a seam. There's actually only one seam in this whole band. So I cut up alongside of that seam and then I'm going to actually cut right above the stitching on this band. You see that? And I'm going to cut this whole band off. Okay, I have the band completely cut off. I do not throw these bands away. I do make scarves out of these. Actually, four of the bands make one scarf. And I will do a video on those. I do four, I use four different colored sweatshirt bands, so they they turn out really cool. So I will make a do a video on, on that if anybody's interested. Okay, the next thing I cut off on this sweatshirt is the neck band. And this one, again, there's only one seam, and I start at the seam. Right there is the seam. But this time I'm going to cut above the stitching. I want to keep that intact. Whereas on the bottom band, we cut that off. So I'm just going to cut, carefully cut above. I'm going across the back now. I don't want to cut off the little tag either. I want that to stay on there so I know what size it is. So I'm making sure that that's not in my cutting way. And then there's you're going to come to a stitching line and I want to stay above that line. That way the collar, even though this is cut off, it's, it's, some, it's finished off enough so that it doesn't look unfinished with that, with that stitching line on there. Okay, that's cut off. Now again, I keep this because this is what go. This is what makes that little rosette that that goes on little pin that goes on the lapel. Okay, zoom out. The next step is to to cut off the bottom of the sleeves, and that makes the pocket. I have my cutting mat laid out here. I cut seven inches off the bottom of the sleeve. And so I'm going to line this up and this top 
edge of your sleeve is straight. The bottom edge is not. You can see that the bottom edge has a slant. And so I want to, to line that top edge up so that it is parallel to one of the lines on my grid here. And then just measure off the seven inches and cut. I should have a mat. Actually, I'm just going to use my scissor because I can see the line all the way through here. And I am just going to cut this off. Okay, and now once that's cut off, I can just line up the sleeve and cut off the bottom of the, uh, excuse me, cut off the other one just by lining it up and making sure that they're the same and do the same thing and just cut. Yeah, this is kind of scary because we're cutting the sleeve, but it's okay. And that part's done. One more stitching or cutting thing to do, and that is to cut right up the center. Let me zoom out again here a little bit. This is where the yardstick comes in handy. And I will, oh, I need a pencil. I'm just going to grab a pencil here. I measure the bottom of right underneath the armpit and this is 22 inches, so half of that is 11, and I'm going to make a mark right at the 11 mark, at the 11 inch point. The top neckline, I kind of just eyeball that, and again, just kind of do like a little dot or a little line there. And then down at the bottom, the kind of the same thing. I'm just going to line this up and mark it. And then connect the dots. and then cut. And that's it for the cutting on this, on the jacket part. We'll cut the, the pockets next, and they're really pretty easy. Again, one seam, and so I am going to just cut up that seam right into the cuff on both of these. Let's see here. And once that is is done, then I take out my pattern. I lay it onto the pocket. And then just kind of, I mean, it's not going to be an exact thing, but I just want to kind of round this off um, to, make it, to make it more like a pocket shape. Let's see it a little bit better on the green here. This I just kind of lay up. I don't even pin. I just hold it with my hand and then cut around the pattern. Flip it over and do the same on this side. This side I'm working with the seam, which I don't want to have in there at all. So I'm cutting that, and then it's just going to be a rounded corner again. Okay, same thing to this one. Okay, I have both of my pockets cut out. Now I'm going to be doing some pinning. I'm going to pin those pockets into place. I usually lay my pockets so that they're about an inch and a half from the bottom and also about an inch and a half from the center front. And if it overlaps a little bit on the side, if you can see that or not, if it overlaps a little bit on the side, that's okay. It's it's not going to be it's not going to matter if you if you notice on jackets a lot patch 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 pockets. They do a lot of times go to the towards the back a little bit. So, not a big deal. I'm just going to put a few pins in this one. Um, and then I'll do the same to pocket number two. 
Okay, the last thing that I that I uh, pin before I take it to the sewing machine is I take a little tuck in the bottom of this um, sleeve. It just gets too big. Once you cut that much of a end off, it's just kind of baggy. And so I take a tuck, about a half inch tuck. Let me zoom in again here. I take about a half inch tuck in the sleeve towards the back. And then I will pin it from the inside. And then when I sew this, I actually sew it up and that all gets caught. That little tuck gets sewn right in it. So I'm going to pin the next one. Okay. All pinned on. And now it's to the sewing machine. How I sew this is I just do a stitching line all the way down and all the way around the bottom on both sides of this. So I'm going to start up here, I'm going to go down, I'm going to go around, and I'm going to end up on this side. You can use a lot of different stitching stitches for this. You can do just a straight stitch. I've done that before. You can also do a zigzag stitch. A feather stitch is really pretty. Um, or you can do like a blanket stitch and I think that is what I'm going to do. I am going to be doing a blanket stitch and I'm going to, like I said, I'm still going to start up here. I'm going to stitch all the way down, all the way around, and all the way back up. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the front and the bottom edge stitched with a, with a little blanket stitch. I forgot to tell you that I use, that I round the bottom of the corners of my of my sweatshirt also, and I just kind of just a not not a huge round, just like a little corner round, just to kind of echo the round of bottom of the pockets. Just kind of it's easier to sew, it's easier to fringe, and it just works better. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this blanket stitch a little bit better here. Yeah, it's really cute. It's just like a little little decorative stitch. Okay, next we're going to be working on the pockets and I'm going to be stitching those. And I'm going to be using the same stitch and I'll show you a little bit of a little bit of a difference. Notice how this top part has the cuff. I'm going to sew right on the very edge of this. And once I get that done, I'm gonna, then I'm going to set my sewing machine in and stitch all the way around at the 5 8 inch seam. So I can fringe the bottom of the pocket too. And once I get it sewn, I'll show you, you can be able to see it a little bit better. So that's next, I have two pockets to go. Okay, the pocket is done. I went the, and did the edge stitching right along the top of the pocket. I also took my zigzag and I reinforced this. This is a real heavy stress point right here on the top of the pocket. And then I set my foot in so I still have this little area here that I can fringe. And I just did a 5 8 inch seam or edge, edge stitch all the way around the bottom of the pocket. And then again on the top, right at the edge, and then I did my little zigzag. So the last thing that needs to be stitched on this is the bottom of the sleeve. And to show you how I do that, I, I actually turn this whole thing up and I stitch the whole thing at when it's rolled up like this. I take my presser foot and I, and I sew right where the, so the presser foot is right at the bottom edge of the zipper. And I'm going to use that same stitch. And then what will happen is I'll have this top part that I'll be able to fringe. And the, the sleeve will be permanently rolled up. There is a tuck in here, remember, in the center of the front. Top of the sleeve. And that, it, again, I, my pressure foot is going to go right over the top of that tuck. So it's all secured and it's all permanently rolled up so then I can go ahead and fringe it. So I'm going to be doing that next and I'll be right back. Okay, the bottom of the sleeve is done. It's stitched all the way around. 
right over the top of the tuck. So the last thing that I need to do on this is turn back the lapels and tack them down. They're permanently also tacked down and that I sew with just a regular sewing machine, just regular stitch. But this goes down and I just kind of eyeball how I, how I would like it to, to lay. Kind of get them even and then just go ahead and pin on both sides and when I go ahead and I sew this I'm going to sew right on my previous stitch using just a straight stitch. So I'll be just going down right on the regular regular seam or that have ar that's already been there. So I'm going to go do that and then, boy, then we're almost done with this. Okay, I got the, the lapels all tacked down. I also went ahead and made the little rosette, little pin, um, and I will, like I said before, and I, I will link up the video that how I made those. Now there's like a ton of cutting and a lot of fringing to do on this. Um, so I usually <laughs> sit in front of the TV or just put on some good music and clip away. But I'll kind of show you just to get you started on how to do this. It's fringed all the way down the front and all the way around the bottom. Around the bottom of each of the pockets and also the, on the bottom of the sleeve. And so how I do this is, let me zoom again. Just take a sharp scissor and just start. And I do little clips to the stitching line. And they're probably about, oh, I would say a half inch apart, maybe a little bit more than a half inch apart. And about a half inch deep also, right to the stitching line, all the way around. So that's how the lapel, I do the lapel, the pockets are done very similar. Remember we, we went right to the edge on the very top part of the pocket. So it's just the bottom rounded part that is fringed. And again it's just every oh half inch or so. And again the sleeve. The sleeve I'm going to show you just where we do the tuck so you can kind of figure out how you do that. Remember there's that tuck in there. And again I just continue to clip and then I'll just clip that um, the, this is the folded edge of that little tuck too and just keep going with it all the way around the bottom of both sleeves and that is absolutely it on this fun casual um, throw on anytime kind of sweatshirt it's real comfortable to wear um, so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you um, have a chance to create today Take a look at the other video with the with the rosette and just and yeah enjoy your day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.